to a Bloxo video or another one. And today we're going to do something different. We're not going to go over AI or whatever you need to do. But if I'm trying to show you hotkeys. And you can tell from just what I'm looking at that this is PC Blocks World. Or basically just Blocks the version of it on Steam, which is free. It's really easy to use, and it's actually kind of recommended if you have a if your mobile version of the game is really weak, like you have a weak device. I'm not saying I'm weak. I'm just kidding. I I have an old I have an old phone. Mostly because I didn't get a new one. But it doesn't matter. And I want to show you something that only the PC version of Bloxwood can do. And it seems kind of weird. How I'm saying PC, 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 just over and over again. But that's what I like to call it. So if you're on PC Bloxworld, you can press all sorts of buttons, and it'll do these things. For example, if you press C. It copies the whatever you're highlighted. Press V, it pastes it. You can just and what's fun is that you can just literally press the button and move your mouse around instead of having to individually pull it one by one, which can be very annoying over time. If you press P, it plays it. Oh, that's actually kind of stupid. He's just riding on his back. Anyway, so if you press P again, it will pause it. If you press B, oh, unpause it. Press B, it brings you back to build mode. Control Z, Z, it undoes it. Undoes. If you're highlighting a block or a model, holding right click and doing a W, sorry, excuse me, W A S D. Oh, it was not doing it now. Hmm, this doesn't work anymore. Oh, there we go. Wait, no. That's weird. Anyway, what I was trying to do is that if you hold right click and you do W A S D while selecting that, it will. Rotate around it. I guess that doesn't work. Okay, and again, I'll check. If you're holding right click and you press W A S D, basically just the controls, you can move around the map or game, world, whatever you call it. So you can just look around, it makes looking around much easier. And if you have walls in the way, you can just go right through them. If you hold shift while doing these, you can speed it up. And if you hold and if you're right-clicking and hold Q, it goes down. This applies with Shift. It goes faster. If you hold E, it goes the opposite. It goes up. But here's the thing. It's not specifically just up. It, let's say if you're facing straight down and hold E, you'll still go this way. So it's not about actually going actually up, but basically just going above where the camera's at. Did that even make any sense? But you just saw what happened. If I look straight, if I look straight up and press E, I start moving along. But you can't actually see that because I'm looking straight up. What else is there? Move down here, Q, and I'm right here. If you press F, it focuses on the object you're highlighting, so you can just always come back. Always come back. Boom, easy. So you don't. So if you see that big message that pops up, you don't need to worry about. It. Just press F or double tap. Just tab, and it'll just bring you back. Anything else? There's other buttons that exist. Oh, yes. Let's say that you have the orange color up here, and the, the what, what is this? Craters texture right here. If you press comma on whatever object you look, your cursor's on, or anything in general, and press comma, it goes to that color that, that's right here. If you press period, it'll do the texture. So that means if you just look at this and just just spam it, du, 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 du. everything is orange and moon textured. Everything, and there's also a glitch where if you texturize like this version, you don't have to, you don't individually put it in. You have to, have to use the you have to use period to do this. But if you do it on the water in the PC version, it will literally disappear. Let me show you. There's no water. It's gone. Poof. Although I think this, I don't think it matters. I don't know, it's weird. If you hold Control Z, it'll undo all that. Boom. Everything's fixed. Everything's beautiful. If you, let's say we do the water texture, just spam it. Everything's all pretty and ugly. Actually, it's a really ugly texture. Huh. It kind of does look like it's been raining. Because it looks like puddles. I'll set myself out. Anyway, is there anything else? There's a lot of buttons, and there's a lot of them to memorize, but it's really easy. If you just like press a bunch of buttons, it, it's not too hard. But there's another one. If you press Y on, let's say this, it will focus on that. Wait, 
why didn't it do it? Is it doing it? it uh, excuse me. It's so if you press Y on this, for example, it will show that color as well as the texture, but it doesn't apply here for some reason. There you go, see? It shows the grass texture, because I put it there, and the color there as well. So you can easily copy whatever color you have existing. Is there anything else? Not really. But if there, but if you want to, you can go ahead and just experiment on your own and try to see any other hotkeys that exist out there. And while we're at it, it's just like my models. Just a whole lot of models. It's kind of annoying how, well, the official blocks of models are not visible to me, but that's okay. It, this game, this version of the game is kind of a little bit underdeveloped, but it's not bad. Well, I guess that's all that I can show you. But this will definitely make life easier if you have PC Blocks World. Because things will be so much faster, because it's a lot easier to use. But, yeah. Remember, if you have any ideas, or ha even know some hotkeys that I don't know about, just let me know in the comments. If, if you want to put anything in the comments, it's completely up to you. Well, I'll see you all later.